Yeah, thank you for going into that. Um, another one of these more specific questions I have, and probably the last one, um, a couple of things left here before we go to a little bit of live um, Q&A if you have questions or super chats for Dr. Walton. Um, but what is the significance of the division between Genesis 1 through 11 and 12 through 50? You hit on this a little bit earlier, but like just to kind of like talk about it again, like what's the significance of the division here between the two sections of the book? Well, it's a significance between how God's presence First became established, then got lost, the uh, order got disrupted, the flood, Tower of Babel, people trying to get it back. Boom. All of this about God's plans and God's purposes and God's um, presence being established. Uh, so that talks about the problem. Genesis 12 through 50 talks about God's solution. Hmm. God's solution to reestablishing his presence on earth. At that point, it's interesting to note his solution is not Jesus. Okay, Jesus is going to be God's solution for, for making full relationship possible. But his plan for reestablishing his presence on earth, first of all now, is that is involved with the covenant. That's how God is going to establish his presence. Then, of course, it's going to be in the tabernacle and in the temple and uh, in Jesus, the incarnation, and in the Holy Spirit at Pentecost and in God's people, the church, and in new creation. I mean, that goes all the way through. Mm -hmm. But in Genesis, uh, the switch from 1 through 11 to 12 through 50 moves us from the problem to the solution. And again, the solution at that point is not salvation. The solution is relationship and presence.